Good afternoon, medieval ninjas, and welcome back. I'm putting on the Castle Gamers Nest. We're playing The Witcher, The Wild Hunt. In the previous episode, we began our quest to find the sandstone in Skellige. We killed Lugos uh, with um, the help of Ermion. He's still coming, I think. Yeah, he's right there. And he's still running. Keep going, you're doing a great job! I'm on my way, hold on. How far do we have to go anyway? Is that enough? Well, Geralt, I see no row can occur in Skellige without your participation. Mean and inaccurate, Ermion. Seems to me I've missed quite a few. The blood of Crocs' blood sits upon the throne, and that is your doing. I'm afraid you've ignited a small civil war. For ages, men had shed each other's blood in the quest for Skellige's crown. Politics as usual, just a difference of degree. Yet the bloody feast at Kaer Trolda was different. It was dishonorable, treacherous, needed investigation. More witcher's work. Work that culminated with the crowning of the Isle's new queen. So it's my fault that Lugos died. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. So, Clan Drummond will attack sooner than we expected, it seems. Thought Croc sent you to negotiate an agreement with Lugos. Ha! An agreement? Only Croc believes such a thing possible at this stage. Mean I didn't actually ruin things for you? Not this time. Lugas' death stands to change a great deal. His cousin, who will now be named Jarl, is a weak commander. Stupid. This war will start soon, and even sooner. But why have you returned to Skellige? How's Ceres handling things? As the makings of an excellent queen, if she would only flee her father's shadow. Everyone, Lugas accepted, declared their support for her. Yet the minute the Imperial fleet appeared on the horizon, the Jarl took matters into his own hands. And Yalmar? The lads led three raids against the Imperial fleet, all against Crack's will, all failed. Uh, yet he'll find volunteers for another. Yeah, sounds like Yalmar. Fail. Listen, Ermian. Know anything about the Sunstone? Legends place it somewhere in Skellige. The Mask of Urberus first, now the Sunstone. Monsters may rest easy. You've become a treasure hunter. I've never found the Enshe Elves interesting. But there's a Skald, Avent. He could help you. Once told me of some inaccessible caverns or ruins or some such. Where will I find him? Today? In Arambjorn, doubtless. You might also ask the pearl divers, Erling and Matthias Fishlung. Of late, they hunt near the tip of the bay, eastern end. Fishlung? Interesting. So they call him. Submerges for hours at a time. None know how he does it, but I've my suspicions. Hmm, not too fond of him. It's nothing personal. I couldn't stand his father or grandfather either. Thanks for your help. One thing, Geralt. These caves are ruins. Matthias and Erling's ancestors would have looted them bare centuries ago were they not protected by some magic barrier. Take a sorceress with you. You must have brought at least one along. Whole gaggle this time. Uh, gods protect us. Um, Pearl Diver, and both of them are quite far from here, so let's teleport! Not now. Watching for Nilfgaard's fleet. Fleet? Oh, aye, they mentioned something. Nay, I have more important matters on my mind. By my calculations, today's the day Gevorg, the legendary white whale, will swim the waters of Skellige. Been waiting for this my whole life. What's this whale about? He's to appear when specters descend from the heavens into the waves. 
The serpent wakes the sea's wrath, and an icy monster devours an isle. Be the first bard to compose a ballad about him. Legends don't happen to mention a curse of the Black Sun, do they? Black Sun? What are you on about? Never mind. Let's watch for Gevorg together, and you can tell me what you know about any elven ruins in Skellige. Heard of some cavern no one's been able to enter? Good thing, too. Elsewise, they'd have plundered it long ago like all the others. Oh my god, there it is! There it is! There it is! There it is! Go, 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 go! Avon! What? I... Uh, just wanted to assure you I only want to look around the cavern. It's research. Research? God. Uh. Writing a historical treatise on the Enshe Elves, under Ermian's tutelage. Ermian? Man never cared a whit about the Elves of the Mountains. I've seen through you, you can neither. Cut me to bits if you like. I'll never tell you about the cavern. <sighs> oh! Must be the Pearl Diver's boat. Oh, thank goodness. I've been looking for that. I don't know how long. I've been diving for quite a while. Must be some hidden place somewhere. Like a hole of some sort. Let's look around a bit. It says it's above, though. So, it doesn't make sense, right? I don't know. Let's keep looking. We'll find it eventually. I'm going out of the... Let's see boats. Junk. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. I think we found it. We found it, people. I'm drowning. A little bit. <coughs> oh. I'm choking in real life. So much swimming. Pearl Diver, are you here? I guess we found it. Hello? Where is my thingy? Torch, and there shall be light. Look, Erling, told you we wasn't done for the day. Didn't even have to fish this one out. You daft. Can't you see he's a witcher? What's a witcher doing here? Run out of pearls. Not your concern. What the sea gives, we take. Seems she's a reluctant giver. Aye, I could use a better knife. But a few hours and their fingers are swollen. Plan to return the bodies to their families at least? I mean, once you're done. They speak true. Mutants got nothing resembling refined sentiments. Look at them. You think their ever-loving mums and wifeys want to see them in this state? The sea will bury them. And that's that. Risking a lot. Boy, that a threat or something? Don't need to worry about me. But I heard calls underwater. Monsters must have sensed blood. I don't hear nothing. Ordinary folk never hear these things till it's too late. We best get out of here, Matthias. Listen, heard you know a thing or two about elven ruins in Skellige. Who says? Ermian. Hmm. You'll not tell him what you saw today, will you? Depends. Elven ruins, you say? What you want to know? Druid mentioned some cavern you've never been able to enter. Where is it? East of Kertrold. In a cove you can only reach from the sea. We got nothing else for you, so if you're done, we'd rather get back up top. I'm done. And good idea. Cool, we have a lead. And we have to take a sorcerer's with us, so, uh... Let's get to work! Going somewhere? Siri says there's a site in Skellige we must examine. Avalach's clearly hiding something from us. Earlier, when we were in the Isles together, 
Avalach mentioned a laboratory. At one point, he wished to teleport there, to retrieve something. And he refused to take me with him. It was all very strange. Sufficiently suspicious, don't you think? So what? Want to just sneak in and root around? Exactly. Coming with? Fine. Where is it? On a small isle between Undvik and Spikarog. Not exactly on our way. Just found out the sunstones on Ard Skellig. Cavern along the coast that we can only access from the sea. Gonna need some real magic to get in, too. Go find this laboratory. I'll explore Ard Skellig. You can join me later. Philippa, your eyesight. Only just recovered and magically simulated. Didn't you say you'd need some time to get accustomed? Did I? Oh, I'd forgotten how irritating she can be. Come, Siri. We'll await you there. They didn't take me with them. What's with that? Can I talk to him? Looky, Mr. Fancy Pan. Yes, Geralt. From the look of things, pretty soon Siri won't need your help anymore. Nor yours. True. She'll do whatever she wants, and I'll support her. What about you? Ready to let her live her own life? I shan't force her to do anything, if that's your question. You imprisoned Ciri the first time you met her. Now you protect her while fighting against your own kind. Quite an about face. First of all, I did not imprison her. She found me. It was her destiny. Yeah, sure. Get to the second of all. Why are you helping her? Because she is a danger. A mortal one. You look at her and see a human, a ward, a daughter even. I look and see the Elder Blood. A power that can destroy the world. A power that must be kept from Eredin's power-addled hands at all costs. Admittedly, our motives differ. Yet in spite of that, we share a goal. So, you would be wise to trust me. Or at least try. So long. Dude, whatever. I have a job to do, and everything is too far away from everything. Oh, you make a fine sailor. Yes, I'd make a fine sailor. I have to find the uh, fast travel thing again. Damn it. Hey there, ladies. This is very well protected. Mm -hmm. I believe we'll find something interesting inside. Mm. How will you lift the barrier? Mm -hmm. Atlan Kirk's inclusion mm. should do the trick. Remember the spell? I remember you teaching me. And to think I thought you an overbearing cold shrew at the time. Now, now, this is no time to get soppy. They're hilarious. So, any incriminating letters? Closets full of skeletons? We've not even opened the door yet. It's a highly complex magic barrier. Let's try. Yatta Ligon! Yep, that'll work. Century. I'll take care of him. I shall try to get through the barrier. Just one of them, not both. <laughs> hey, I wasn't even there. He punched me. <laughs> Whoa. Siri? Jennifer? Will you guys help me a little bit? Oh! Charging. Thank you, Jennifer. Good riddance. Take your sweet time opening doors, huh? Pretty cozy. Doesn't look much like a lab at all. That proves nothing. We must look around. It's a bit low, isn't it? 
rummaging through his papers. You wish to come, my dear. Portrait of Ciri, I think. No, that's not me. Where's the scar? It's definitely you. Hm. Really captured you. Sure Avalok's only interested in you for your magic abilities? <laughs> Very funny. Oh ho ho, he's in love with you, girl! He wants a piece of you. I'm surprised. What do we have here then? Uh, explore Avalak's laboratory oh, using your witcher senses. What did you find, girl? It seems someone was literally just here. Avalak's on the ship. We know that. What if he's not? Stop. Hmm. A distillate? Smells like... Verbena. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha uh -huh what? No, nothing. Sometimes you really get on my nerves, you know. Herbs. Not very incriminating. Wait. We've not examined the entire laboratory yet. We might as well, though. Um... See, there's nothing here. This place is huge. I I don't know where to start. Yen. Genealogical chart of the Enhanikir, the Elder Blood, from Laura Doran. To me? You never showed me the full version. I had no idea Viedmont of Eden was an ancestor. Was he the one who punished his daughters with a hot iron? Or the one who had his own father's eyes gouged out? Him of the daughters. My, even I'd never seen the full version. Seems Avalark has analyzed all the parts of Lara's gene, even those we thought extinct. He's only analyzing? Really believe that? If he's anything like our mages, I seriously doubt he's standing back and observing how Lara's descendants are doing. I don't think we'll ever know if or how deeply the elves have meddled in the gene's mutation. Did you have a hand in... in what Geralt mentioned? The work of those human mages? Of course not. Let's look at his notes. Gods. He spent over two centuries on this. He was the first to study Lara's gene. Volker? Hmm. Some entries about Ciri. But it's here, later, that things get interesting. He actually tried to cultivate a genetic mix like Ceres, but one excluding the human line. Meaning what exactly? That I ought to be looking about for giant jars holding my siblings? Don't be foolish. Avalach never got that far. Apparently all his experiments ended in failure. You are unique. And that's why we've the wild hunt to contend with. Let's ferret on. See if we can't find something even more interesting. Hmm, I wonder what. Well, maybe I can loot stuff while I'm at it. Haha! -ha. You want me some of the hides just too, right? Oh, perfume? Hmm, elves sure know their fragrances. Hmm, mirror standard. Might have expected a hidden portal. Nothing much here. Someone's there, beyond the door. Hello? How did you get in here? We mean you no harm. 
I care not at all why you're here. Get out. You? I remember you. From Tir Naliar. Remarkable. I thought all elves looked alike to those of your race. If it's Avalach you seek, he's not here. I know. And yet you come here. What for? To spy on him. He tries his damnness to save you every time you do something stupid. Is that not enough? What can you possibly know about that? You'd be surprised. He's told me a great deal about you. Like what? He said you shed Lara's features. I don't see whatever it is he sees. It seems a bit like trying to drink water from a mud puddle. Ouch. But I imagine that belief somehow helps him with his task. What task? Do you think he trails you everywhere for pleasure? Even I grow ill at the sight of you. It's incredible how those like you still believe you're superior to humans, in any way. She's no human. She's a degenerate half-breed. To have no choice but to use something like that? It's humiliating. Another word, and I'll- What? You'll change nothing. She must do what she must. Then Avalach will finally be free of her. If he hates me so deeply, why didn't he tell me to my face? Siri, you didn't actually believe her, did you? She's a uh, personally involved in the matter, that's clear. What of it? If they despise me so, they should leave me be! Siri... What? Do you fear I'll level this place like I did Care Morn? Shame I can't do that at will, because I'd really like to now! Oh my god. <laughs> I wasn't sure about this choice. Either calm down or go for it, but... Go for it. Sure seems more fun to me. <laughs> we trust the place. <laughs> Completely. Would work. <laughs> there, that's better. Let's get out of here. Okay, let's stop for today. That was The Witcher, The Wild Hunt. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Let me know what you think down in the comments. I'll see you next time like usual. Thanks everybody for watching. Don't forget.
keep on gaming. Bye bye.